Alright, what's next? Alright, back to Tercy's Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> A scribe must learn to control the glyphs, lest they seek to control the scribe. From the Keeper Handbook for Scribes. Alright, going there, which is right next to me. Ooh, I'll take those. Um, here, right? Yeah, okay, this way. Oh, shit. Uh, I think I'm gonna hang back here, yeah. Okay, that was close. Shit. Would you just pick a place, please? So many NPCs. Alright, there we go. Fuck him. Done. Oh, hello. I think she saw me. <laughs> what are you doing? She... She's literally walking two feet, turning around, and then walking two feet again. He's dead. I'm gonna get the watch. What? No, he's not dead. I knocked him out. Why, did that... Why does everyone think everyone who's on the ground is dead? Alright, Stone Market Plaza. Here we come. Beware the age of darkness. Light shall become shadow. Time shall become the enemy. Life shall become pain. Excerpt from the Keeper Books of Prophecy. Wonderful. Well, so far the prophecies have been accurate, no? So it sounds like uh, there's a bad time coming. Or maybe the bad time is already upon us. Watch it, chump. Yeah, you watch yourself, motherfucker. What's all this? Whoops. Shit. I got careless. You with the hood, out of the way. Way to break my cover, asshole. I'm not even in your way. Ooh, that person is freaking out in there. Okay, I'm going this way. Alright, where do I even need to go? Okay, I'm here, I need to go to Tercy Square, so I'm actually going the right way. Just keep going up. <clears throat> Alright, fuck you. Hi, how goes it? Uh, hey. What's up? Evening to you. I believe I need to go through there. Uh, yes, I do. And... I guess it doesn't really matter which way I go. Whatever, I'm just gonna go this way. Because this is the way I went before. Garrett. 
Excellent. Follow me. To be honest, I completely forgot why I got these artifacts for them in the first place. Why did they need them? Sergeants My are fallen in the living death. The prophecies are clear. There is much ahead to be wary of. Interpreter Kataka, your words are most useful clear to... Clear as mud. Exactly what will happen. And what are we supposed to do about it? I'm still waiting to see a useful book. We must first understand the unwritten times, if we are to prevent them. First Keeper Orlan demands immediate audience. You've moved up in the world, Orland. Nice view. Yes, I have. It's First Keeper Orland now, Garrett. Within these walls, you answer to me. You called me here to remind me you're in charge? The job must not keep you very busy. You inquired about books. Useful books. That's right. You must have something in here worth reading. You think you might shape events more skillfully? Read the signs more clearly? The prophecy. Shape events? Interesting way to put it. I'm here now. Do you want my help or not? Very well. This will admit you to certain areas of the library. Do not venture further. You will not ply your trade here, thief. If anything happens, you will be held accountable. Is this clear? Perfectly. Perhaps you should translate for Kataka. I stopped the recording just in time. Alright, well, First Keeper Orland seems to be... A very angry. <laughs> Familiarizing yourself with, his, with uh, his history and capabilities will prove essential should the time come when we no longer deem him necessary. Attributed to someone who I couldn't read because it disappeared too fast. Oh, right, I don't need to sneak. But who the hell are you? This is Orland's office. He is busy and has nothing more to say to you for now. I'm aware this is Orland's office because I just left Orland's office. Orland has instructed Elder Ezo oh God, to shut up! The door glyph. You will need it to exit this. Yeah, blah blah blah. God, fucking NPCs in this game. Elder Granger. On which quest? The reacquisition of the Compendium of Reproach or of its glyph key? Either. We will need both items in our hands if we wish to make any headway into our research concerning the coming Dark Age. There would be considerably more progress if the teams were allowed to consult with Interpreter Kaduka. Impossible. She seeks the Brethren and Betrayer, and her work must not be interrupted. Then the answer to your previous question is no. What will it take to find them then, do you think? The Council would like time to prepare for the prophecies that are contained within the Compendium. They have both been missing for so long, but I am sure with all of us continuing to scour the library and the compound for passages that refer to them, we'll have the precise answer within a reasonable time period. Meanwhile, just in case, 
I have scribes searching for any book matching its physical description. A large golden slab, sealed with a glyph. So, the Keepers are hoping to solve the Dark Age problem by finding this compendium and glyph key. I'm pretty good at acquiring lost objects. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Yeah, so what exactly is my quest here? Alright, search around for clues. And speak to Keeper Assold before you leave the library. Notice from the council. Uh, notice from the council regarding the impending dark age. Since it is of utmost importance that interpreter Kataga continue her quest to uncover the identity of the brethren and betrayer, she should not be interrupted for any reason. Also, several elders have been tasked with other urgent endeavors, including the search for the missing compendium of reproach and the glyph key that unlocks it. The compendium, a large golden slab sealed with a glyph, may contain prophecies pertinent to the dark age problem and has been missing for well over a decade. It is. Useless without its glyph key, which we believe may have gone missing around the same time. If you have been assigned to one of the uh, quest groups, an elder will contact you. Where could this thing be? Good day. You forget yourself, Garrett. No, I actually remember myself. Anyone want to speak to me? Hello? Nope. As heedless as ever, I see. Why does everyone here hate me? Well, I mean, I guess I do hate all of them, so... Slow motion falling. <sighs> Ow. Garrett, I have troubling news. The Hammerites and the Pagans have discovered it was you who stole their artifacts. Both factions are very angry. However, they are willing to overlook your recent crimes if you are willing to aid them by performing specific tasks. Until then, beware. Fine weather we're having, eh? Hey? on sight. A Hammerite named Inspector Drept wrote this missive for me to deliver to you. I contacted a pagan shaman named Diane, and she agreed to post a similar note for you on the outskirts of the pagan territory in the docks. I have done what I can to aid you. Farewell, and good luck. Did you need something, Garrett? Hello? Great. You the hammers and pagans Garrett? are mad at me because of jobs did I did for the keepers. Garrett? I better find out what they want and then decide whether or not I want to bother trying to improve their opinion of me. The NPCs in this game are so fucking ter- elder? Oh my god. Stop. Stop. The NPCs in this game are giving me such a fucking headache, I can't even think with them talking. They're like three people talking at once. And then he just- do you need something, Garrett? Do you need something? Hello, do you need something, Garrett? It's like, Jesus, just give me a minute to breathe. Alright? No, I don't need something. Come on, you know you want to say it. you need something, Garrett? No. I don't fucking need something, you prick. I don't even, what is your name? Who are you? Alright, I believe I'm supposed to not steal, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna not steal. There's not a requirement to get 60% of the loot, right? No. Alright, I'm gonna be a good Garrett. And not steal anything. Garrett, the prescribed penalty for your crimes against us is death. However, I have convinced the Hammerite clergy to grant thee lenience, provided thou first perform enough of the following acts of atonement. First, the rust mites are large, gold-colored bugs that feed upon metal and undo our works. We hereby grant thee the Builder's blessing to destroy them with your arrows. Secondly, thou can smite the undead, for they are most abhorrent to us. <clears throat> for each of these tasks thou accomplish, your standing with the Hammer Order wilt increase a small amount, whereas stealing from us or attacking any Hammerite will assuredly decrease your standing. Hmm. 
The choice is thine. At present, any Hammerite will attack thee on sight if they find you on city streets. If thou increase thy standing with us sufficiently, we will allow thee to pass unharmed. Do us many of these favors, and thou wilt be considered an ally and allowed into Fort Ironwood in Old Quarter. Lastly, tis my custom to ask everyone with whom I speak if they have seen a sort of hag. Hmm, you don't say. Or heard rumors of an old gray lady near the scene of a gruesome crime. If so, twould be a great favor to, to, to me to tell what you know. Tis my life's ambition to find the hag. But my misfortune to always be ten steps behind her. My workshop is located in Aldale, near the pub. Builder save the Inspector Drept. Alright, so those bugs can be killed. You know, I think it might actually serve me to be on their good side. Okay, <laughs> my bow has been blessed with the ability to destroy rust mites. I'm pretty sure those bugs they're talking about that are called rust mites are more like rust gargantuina beetle is sis. Yes, exactly that. What I mean to say is they don't look like mites, they're fucking huge. Alright. Hello? What's in there? <coughs> Scribe, when you are completely done with your other tasks, go to the Forbidden Library and ret retrieve for me the map of the Keeper Compound. I left it on the second floor. Okay, Forbidden Library, second floor. Wait, am I supposed to be in here? This looks like someone's quarters, but it wasn't locked. Wow, that was a good secret chamber, or whatever this is. An obvious little pressure plate. Right in front of the door, you step on it, and it opens. <laughs> the trouble started when I asked permission to leave the library in order to visit the compound and begin research for a new paper. A treatise on us, on keepers, our history and founding principles. To my knowledge, no such book has been written yet, and it seemed a worthy endeavor. My proposal was well thought out and included chapters on balance and the powers of glyphs. However, permission to visit the compound was not granted me. In fact, my request was met with surprise and outright suspicion. Surely my idea was a good one, and I would be thorough in my research and truthful in my conclusions, but saying so only seemed to trouble the elders further. Then today, my duties were reduced. Could it be related to my request? And if so, why? I'm afraid to press these questions further. Besides, who would I ask? So, I guess the Keepers don't like to have the eye put upon them. Wait, what the hell did I just open? I hear something behind there, but... I can't open it. Is there another thing to step on? Is there a fake book? A false book to pull out? Strange. Alright, well maybe I come back here later. Yeah, I'm thinking I'd probably come back there later. Alright, before I continue, I will be right back. As was spoken about in the ancient prophecies, I have returned. Good evening. Hello, Garrett. Orland informs me that you are to receive the Keeper Door Glyph. You must perform the scribe ritual to do so. Place your hands into the indentations on the plaque behind me. That is all. Turn your gaze elsewhere, child. Okay. That's really all I have to do? Before I do that, let me read this. To all acolytes and scribes, 
It has come to my attention that some of you have not yet undergone the Acolyte ritual and that there have been unsubstantiated rumors about the safety of such practices. Ooh, I'm glad I read this before doing it. The Acolyte ritual is a simple keeper indoctrination, is completely safe, and is mandatory for all scribes. After the ritual, you will be able to see and use the Keeper Door Glyph. The importance of acquiring this glyph cannot be stressed enough. Without it, a Keeper would be unable to see or open the myriad secret glyph doors that have been placed. That have been placed throughout the city to mask our presence, bypass city gates, store supplies, and aid our maneuverability. <clears throat> the current citywide quarantine is a perfect example of the importance of the Keeper Door Glyph, as with it, we can easily pass between South Quarters and Docks using our secret door near the gate. Ooh. If you have any questions, an elder can assist you. Okay, so this should allow me to go into that door thing I saw in that person's chamber, and also get to the docks. Sweet. Okay. Look for this glyph on the wall, then use it, and the door will appear. Okay. Very Sweet. well, Garrett. You now have all the powers of an acolyte. You are able to see and open keeper doors. Look for the glyph. Keeper Artemis also wishes to see you, I believe. Farewell. Seems an issue not to leave the council room to discuss the disposal of waste paper. Get agreed to Greetings, the revered elder. I've got a few more glyphs. What are they afraid of? Um Don't know where that goes? Don't really want to know right now. Alright, I keep completing things and getting new things. Alright, so I still need clues about the Dark Age. Alright, let's just keep exploring. This place is big. Wonderful map. Unfortunately, it's not of what I'm actually at. Of course, I don't have a map for this place. This way leads to the forbidden libraries. I could sneak my way in, but I can't let any keepers catch me in there. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna come here in a minute. Let me explore everything else first. Alright, oh yep, there's the door glyph. Wait, where did- oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be a level transition. Mm, am I supposed to be in here? Oh, it's a backdoor entrance to the Forbidden Library, okay. Well, shit, let's just do it now. What is your opinion? About the libraries? I think Orland is right to restrict Garrett's movements. These books are far too valuable to risk. Besides, there's nothing here in the Forbidden Libraries that a thief would want, unless that thief were the brethren and betrayer our Kataka seeks. Then you do not believe. What, the prophecies? I believe. I just don't believe it's Garrett to which they refer. Perhaps Orland is the one. Or one of us, perhaps. It seems logical it would be an elder. We alone possess the knowledge and skill. Indeed. So you think it is folly to accept Garrett in our midst? His aid with the coming Dark Age will prove ineffective? Of course. What can he do that we, all of us, cannot do? I wish I were as sure as you, Elder Callow. Ha! <laughs> what can he do that I can't do? Really? Do you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to blow out all the torches, sneak up behind the Dark Age, and I'm gonna blackjack the Dark Age over the fucking head. And then I'm gonna pick up the Dark Age's body, and I'm gonna throw it over a huge cliff. That's what I'm going to do. And the Dark Age will be over. Or will it not have started in the first place? What is that? Is that loot? You know what, that's gotta be loot, right? I don't actually want to steal loot, I want to read. 
Yeah, that's loot. Alright, there's a book over there. Here we go. Nice and easy. The keepers are wasting their time writing about me. I'm a thief, and a good one. But I've got nothing to do with their prophecies. The Matter of Garrett by Keeper Draco. Familiarizing yourself with Garrett's history and capabilities would prove essential should the time come when we no longer deem him necessary. Garrett studied with us until his early 20s, at which time he was offered the chance to proceed with the indoctrination ceremony, uh, and with the indoctrination ceremony and become a keeper. However, he lacked balance and instead expressed his intention to leave. The council voted we deal with him using the enforcers until Katika informed us that Garrett was essential to overcoming difficult times ahead. And so our most promising acolyte left us. Garrett pursued the life of a criminal and with the keeper training he had given him, uh, we had given him, he quickly became a master thief. His abilities did not escape attention of certain individuals and he was lured into a, pa a pagan plot that threatened the safety of the city. During that time, Garrett's eye was removed and used to power the eye, one of the artifacts we are studying. See Ogilvy's treatise on sentience for more regarding the artifacts. After the threat was neutralized, Garrett obtained a mechanical eye from the Hammerites. Later, his thieving abilities revealed mm, an excessive imba imbalance within the Hammerite order. See the Mechanist Metal Age for more on this topic. True to Katika's predictions, Garrett had the abilities necessary to remove the threat and overcome our second trial. Now Katika has predicted a third Dark Age, and she believes Garrett will play a critical role, though the glyphs have yet to reveal if he will influence the outcome positively or negatively. Hmm. And what was the... Early on, like what, right when I first started the game, wasn't there a cutscene that showed a Keeper writing out some glyphs, and then being surprised by what he saw, and then crumpling the paper up and putting it in his desk drawer? So, some information in the glyphs has been withheld. This is one hell of a lock. Oh, this is a that's a freaking front door. I don't want that. Oh, this door that I'm guarding right in front of my face seems to have opened and closed. Must have been the wind. No, 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 not, not noisemaker, not noisemaker. Wrong one. Keeper Dover, journal entry number 2136. Holy hell, that's a long journal. I should have known better than to bring it up front in... Uh, up... Let me try again. I should have known better than to bring it up in front of the entire council. Still, my words had some effect. At least now there is the resolution uh, forbidding it. I believe that will cause many to think twice should the temptation arise. Meanwhile, we should all be on the watch for the telltale signs. The dead animals, their life forces drained. It is not a love of creatures that compels me to speak out. No, they're pitiable, but inconsequential. I can only speculate on how long a keeper could extend a normal lifespan in this way. A hundred? Two hundred years? Maybe longer. But it would take more than vermin to accomplish that. And I, now that I possess the knowledge... Can I truly say I am not too, uh, I am not tempted? This is why I cannot remain silent. That and the glyph that Elder Beryl speculates must exist. 
though we have yet to find one that enables shapeshifting. What a potent elixir glyph of glyph magics that would be. You know, I'm just gonna take this out for my return trip. Should make it easier. Yeah, one of the definite uh, improvements in Thief 3 over the previous ones is obviously the graphics, which I've mentioned before, but I'm really seeing, like, this really shows how how much dynamic lighting adds to the game. I mean, both just from a visual perspective, you know, it looks really cool, but also from a gameplay perspective. Because a dynamic light will dynamically reveal you, and this game is all about light and shadow. What is that? Oh wait, I think it's a map. Yeah, that's a map. And of course I have to switch to it, thank you. Uh, where am I? I guess... Oh, here we go. Right? Is the lower libraries the hidden libraries? Or I suppose maybe there's not a map of the hidden libraries because, well, they're hidden. Whatever. An actual page. You know what? I'm going to take these. I really want them. It hardly seems believable. Yet Elder Grab. Whew, that was close. Wait a minute. Did I read? I think I just read this, right? No, I did not. Okay. Transcript of Keeper Council meeting, blah, 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 blah. Xavier, Keeper Keeper Beryl has the floor. Beryl, I thank the Council and the First Keeper. Today, I have prepared a report on the backgrounds of several missing Keepers. My goal was to find common elements in their research that might lead to an explanation for their disappearances. Although there was no one, there was no one thing they had in common, I believe I found at least tangential evidence that they could be related. I'll start with Keeper Dover, whom you will remember for his rather unpopular theories about the nature of prophecy and especially his interest in corruption. Tabor, Keeper Beryl, the Council does not need a discourse on each missing Keeper. Have you found a common element to the research or, research or not? Beryl, well, it's not that simple. I was trying to explain. Savine, perhaps Keeper Beryl has found several themes they all had in common. Beryl. If the council pleases, I have organized a report and would like to continue with my presentation. Tabor. I've moved that this information be disseminated outside the council forum so that each of us can review can review Beryl's findings separately. If necessary, the subject can be brought up at a subsequent meeting. Beryl. With respect to Keeper Tabor and all those present, this very subject has been delayed by the council before, and I... Xavier. Enough. This meeting will be adjourned for now. Keepers Tabor and Barrel will, will report to me in my quarters immediately. It seems there were some problems amongst the council. Alright, anything else left to read? Doesn't look like it. No, I believe that's it. Let me just wait for him to pass. There's even a further upstairs. The Pagan Situation by Keeper Tallow. 
The Pagans have begun to infiltrate into more areas using decaying infrastructure to mask their presence. They, have now, they now have sanctuaries in almost every district. Diane, their high priestess, was the successor to the Pagan leadership after the wood nymph, Victoria, was desiccated. Victoria! Oh, and why? I still wanted Victoria and Garrett to be together. They'd be a perfect couple. A wood nymph and a thief. Has a better couple ever existed? Desiccated. Desiccated. Uh, Diane's is often seen with... Wait, what? Diane's... Diane's? What? I don't understand that. Diane's is often seen with a staff, although it has not been available for study. Her commander, Larkspur, is aggressive and dangerous. The two control a large number of shamans who invoke the powers of plants, both to hurt and to heal. I believe the pagans are able to accelerate plant growth, such that it could rapidly culminate in a great imbalance. Recommend further observation. Wait, a scribe is not allowed in the scribarium? What? I should just be able to make it past. I like the fact that he's not actually sitting on the chair. Oh, that's something to steal. Okay, there's nothing to read here. Alright, the upper level. This is where the good stuff should be. I would hope. The juicy stuff. Gotta get me those juicy keeper secrets. Guiding acolytes to their destiny. Part... Wow, what the fuck is V again? V is 5, right? So, 6, 7? I'd be part 7. Enforcers. The will of the keepers. The call of the enforcer is a strong one. Those who wish to augment their strength and swiftness and those who wish to protect the balance at all costs are drawn to their dominion. Acolytes should note that once indoctrinated, an enforcer can only communicate telepathically. What? <laughs> okay. The Enforcer's education consists of all manners of stealth training and specialized weaponry must be mastered. After taking the vow, the glyphs are applied and the transformation takes place immediately. Once converted by the glyphs, there is no known way of countering the changes. Elders who are guiding acolytes along this path should take care in revealing the most sensitive aspects of the sacrifices involved. What exactly is an Enforcer, and have I ever encountered one? Because... I don't remember encountering any telepathic people. Heading to next. <clears throat> Hopefully, there's something else to read in this place because I think I might actually be about done. Yeah, I think that might be it. This is where I came in, right? Yeah. Wait a minute, what is this door here? Ooh. 
What is in here? Secrets? Mighty secrets. I wish wow, to check what the history is, Kamal. Maybe there is something in Oglavi's Dark Ages that refers to the one who has been hidden. Hmm? Let us check there. As always, you shall be my eye. go very slowly Whew. Oh, I think I've hit the mother load this not exactly sure what room this is but it looks uh, it looks very secret very big very epic and I know I'm not supposed to be in here what am I going to find? Alright, well there's plenty to loot, but that's not what I want. I want information. Anything? Wait a minute, is there seriously nothing to read in here? I don't think there's anything to read in here. No, there's nothing. <gasps> I must tell someone about this. Shit! Oh no. Uh, maybe she'll forget before she gets to a guard? Shit, I didn't think she'd be looking enough this way to see me. Ah. Yeah, the, oh, ooh. Wait a minute. Aha. Hello. A secret room, eh? Always my favorite room in a house. What is this? All right, let me just make sure she's not coming back. And I don't believe I've failed anything. No, I... I seem to be fine. All right, let's read this. Thorinson. An acolyte scribed this passage yesterday. Sound familiar? Meet me. Assold. The safeguard against the evil ones will be found. The last of all glyphs that all can view but none can see. The eye will be borne by the one who will not yet bear the mark. Between the two, none shall come until the unwritten times are upon us. What the hell does that mean? Okay, hold on. Okay, the eye will be borne by the one who will not yet bear the mark. That would be me, I guess. Beyond that, I don't know what that means. Alright, well, I guess I'm done here in the secret library. I guess. I mean, I'd say I found clues about the Dark Age. Right? But I think I still need to find that book. The Lost One. Unless, wait, is that the Lost Book? I mean, I can't seem to take it. Yeah, I think I've been thorough. I don't think there's anything left to read. Someone is back. Oh, it's her. Acting as if nothing happened. Alright, where's she gonna move to next? I'm staying right behind her until she moves. There we go.
I mean, it seems like if there's anywhere I would need to find that book that I need to find for clues about the Dark Age, it would be here in the secret library, but I think I've looked everywhere. Well, if I do have to come back, it shouldn't be too bad. I know my way around the place. Checking to make sure I haven't missed anything. Nope, already read that. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, she's down here. Uh, which way is she gonna go back down? Eh, whatever, I'm just gonna go. Time to leave this place. Whew. Okay, I'm out. Hey dudes, what's up? Good evening. Fine evening. Yes, good evening, fine evening, bad evening, decent evening. Many types of evenings. All right, so I still I still need to search for clues about the Dark Age. Uh, I believe this goes yeah this goes to the secret library. This is the main entrance, the dumb way to go. Ooh. Two elders regarding Interpreter Katika from F K Orland, uh, First Keeper Orland. Many have expressed frustration that the process of interpreting the glyphs regarding the Dark Age and the Brethren and Betrayer is taking too long. But be assured, Interpreter Katika is consulting the books as much as her health allows. It should be said that the, cons the constant exposure to the books and the physical act of reading the glyphs has been a terrible strain on her. You will recall that Katika is one of the younger interpreters we have, we have had, but already she has spoken of a successor due to the marked aging effects of... Marked aging effect of the readings. For now, Kateka continues to have readings every day and believes she is close to important truths. For further concerns, please see me. Oh, that's where I just was. Right up there. Uh, wait, where... Did I ever see where this went? I don't think I did. Where does this go? No. I need to learn something about the Dark Age. Although I suppose it's possible by doing the other thing. No, I'm, you see, I'm supposed to go to the Doc's Pagan Stronghold, but... No, it, t it specifically tells me to search around the Keeper Library for clues about the Dark Age. Which, honestly, I swear I've already found in that book. But I guess not. All right, I've been there. Good evening. Did you need something scribed? Let's take the platform. Actually, that thing is slow as hell. May I speak with you? I think I've found something in my studies. Have you? A connection. Go on and speak up, scribe. I can barely hear you. Well. Everyone knows the Compendium of Reproach has been missing. And then last week, I scribed a passage, and it read, The Compendium will be born by a terrible storm. Yes, I remember the report. Interesting. 
Yet, no sign of any inclement weather, eh, Scribe? No, but then, just a few days ago, a ship came into the docks area. Do you remember the report from Keeper Alcott? He said the ship had managed to get itself into port, though no one was left alive to man it. A plague ship. The crew. Undead. Yes, it is indeed a tragedy, and a mystery, but I see no connection. A storm would not cause the ship to befall such a fate. No, but the name of the ship, Elder Draco. The name of the ship is the Abysmal Gale. Is that not another way of saying terrible storm? This is the connection of which I speak. Ah, I see your point. And the error in your thinking. The compendium was lost ages ago. How could it possibly be on a ship that has just come into port? But... Enough, scribe. I have important business to attend to, in case you haven't heard. There's a dark age approaching. Yes, Elder Draco. Thank you for speaking with me. Maybe the scribe is on to something. I should check out this ship, the Abysmal Gale, next time I visit the docks. Well, it would appear I wasn't far off when I said maybe doing the other thing would help me do this. So now I have two things to do with the docks. Okay, but well before I do that, let me see if I've read these books. I don't think I have. Uh, no, uh, Talia, I want to run this by, uh, by you before I bring it to an elder. You know how we search for the Compendium of Reproach in our efforts regarding the Dark Age? Well, I recently subscribed a passage in which the Compendium was mentioned. It said, born by a... Okay, that's basically what they just discussed. And, alright, we're good to go. Alright, where was that magical passage to the docks? Excuse me. It, yeah, excuse you. Actually, no, I don't think it was to the docks. It was to Stone Market, Stone Market Plaza. Somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. Good evening, Elder. Okay. Stone Market Plaza, yes. Let's hope this uh, puts me out somewhere close to the docks. <clears throat> Beware the minions of the trickster, for they revel in chaos. Seek they to undo the works and subvert thy thoughts. From the Sermon of St. Edgar. Alright, where's... Oh, this has just put me right back where I came in. Right. Alright, so the docks... Uh, where do I need to go? Hold on. Alright, yeah, let me just go straight down to South Quarter. Pretty sure I know the way. Oh shit, those are hammerites, aren't they? And they don't like me. Um. Um. Tis no sin, Brother Griswold. No sin, but tis not the Builder's work. He cavorts with common city folk, and he comes not to services. Brother Drept has permission to scour the city for this murderer, this hag, which he has sought these many years. Thou hast just reminded me of another thing. He hast asked to be called Inspector Drept, not Brother. Surely it is not allowed. It is a transgression indeed, but none that worries me over much, Brother Griswold. Then hearken to one more grievance, Brother Menden. That he has spent much time in the aiding of a known thief, a non-believer, a heathen to be sure. The very thief that did steal the chalice from St. Edgar's. This too I know. It was Brother Drept's own idea to enlist Garrett in aiding our cause. Only time will tell if it was right to do so. It is not for us to judge. Not yet. Then thou wilt not call him for penitence? No flogging? No mail shirt? Nothing? May the Builder see fit to guide us to the right path, if we have stumbled onto the wrong, Brother Griswold. 
but I will not punish my own. Not when the forces of the trickster do surround me in the night. Well, at least they have some sense. I did see... Hello, guard. Oh, no, don't care. Hey, wait a minute. Where's this go? Oh, it's a secret storage room. I don't want that. Cool. What is that? Can you speak? And I believe I take out these rust mites, which don't look anything like mites, to get in good with the hammerites. What the fuck? Okay, they explode. Uh, right. Didn't expect that. All right, two south quarter. Why would they explode? <laughs> it's like I just shot a stick of C4. <laughs> Makers a sipping poison of Fangrod and Meadow Skull. To oh, I've already read this. Some blah 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 from a pagan crazy. I think they're going to hear the explosion, but oh well. Whoa, what? What are you doing? You, I saw what you did. Now you'll get it. What? Got to hide somewhere. What the fuck? <laughs> what? The hell was that person talking yes. about? What the? Who do I see there? Ah! Uh-oh. Okay. Maybe I should hide this body. Excuse me, I've just got to put this body somewhere. Excuse me. Alright. I'm going to steal coin from the commoner. Never mind, I can't seem to quite get it. Oh, and now... Oh, okay, well. The NPCs in this game are fucked. Like, what What are you doing? What? <gasps> Stay back! I'm not armed! W what is she... What? This game has some of the worst AI I have ever seen. Oh my god. It is so much worse than Thief 1 and 2. Alright, now, where was I going? I'm... Uh, where did I just come out of? Uh, Stone Market Plaza, okay, yeah. So I'm going straight south. They're filled with methane. Uh... Wh what? What the f... Okay. The guard's looking for me and he bumped into me on his quest to find me. Sure. Alright, this guard isn't freaking out at least. Maybe the guard heard the explosion? Oh, please, not me. What? What are you screaming about? Not me, what?
Is this the docks? No, that's the Pavlock prison. Or Pavlock prison. Something move. Well, I guess it was nothing. You know what? He might see me. Shit. It's okay, I can always run if he does. <clears throat> Alright, I'm good. Now, I do want to know if the explosion causes alarm, so hold on. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's what they were freaking out about. I think he sees me. Okay, bye. Do you wish to leave this area and enter docks? Yes, I do. Maker and offerings of man fools he fleshes, drinker of sippings of man fooled bloods, or whatever pagan harvest song, author unknown. Poor part of town, full of cramped tenements and surly residents. I wouldn't come here looking for a helping hand but it's the right place to hire a few murderous thugs. Or for those who are in the market for something rare and exotic, precious imports from ships are stored here until they're moved to more wealthy districts. So the docks can be a good place to rob, as long as you keep an eye out for fishy characters. And, of course, the city watch. The quarantine still has the docks cut off from the other districts, but the keeper Dorglyph got me past the gates. Working with the keepers isn't all bad, I guess. And I have a hunch I'm in the right place to return the favor. If the keepers are right, and there's a dark age coming, then Docks is where to start searching for it. It's about as dark as this city gets. Actually, I might as well pre-open this, just in case I have to run back. Alright, how big is the Docks? Uh, pretty big, actually, yeah. Alright, I came from here, and I know that, um, didn't one of the people I sold stuff to say that if you want to sell paintings, you have to sell it to some woman here in the docks? So I'm guessing I'm going to have quite a bit to sell, actually, because I've got at least a couple paintings. Alright, so on the west, there should be a store, and then south, there's a store as well. Wait a minute. To South Quarter. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, what? The gate to South Quarter is west, but the gate to South Quarter on here is north. Uh, what? I don't get it. Oh shit. That's a guard. And he's bumping into the boxes. So is this map not oriented correctly? I don't think it is. I think the corridor that I'm looking down, which is south, is this, which is west on the map. Great! Now the map is even more useless. Is that another guard? Last night. Ah, bugger off. <laughs> wow. Pleasant guard. I like this super realistic NPC behavior, where they walk around randomly with no thought to their, uh, with no purpose to their stride. Okay, yes. So south is actually west on the map. Great. Excuse me. The store here in the docks is a great place to shop for interesting items. I should stop in. Let's do that. 
Greetings, and thank you for shopping at the Undercurrent. Sam Swarthy, proprietor, at your service. Mm, I, I've been working on a motto, but it ain't done yet. So just get <laughs> shopping. All right, and please tell me you're not going to talk again in like two seconds, but I bet you are. All right, hold on. Noisemaker, no, I'm good. Good on that. Uh, could always use more gas mines, definitely. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome to my store. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I calls it the undercurrent. Get it? <laughs> Wipe your feet and don't go touching nothing if your hands are dirty. Okay, I don't know what the climbing gloves do, but I want them. Because I'm betting they're good. But I don't have enough money, so let me go sell my paintings. Which are sold. Alright, I gotta go back and go the other way. Yes. Hi, how goes it? Mm. Uh. Again, I shouldn't have doubted myself. Maybe just seeing things. I shouldn't have doubted myself, but I'm, now I'm going to doubt myself. Okay, so if south is actually well, uh, I don't know. Nothing. It's this way. If it were something, I know it. Oh wow, that was quicker than I thought. All right, here we go. Who's that? Yes, Let it's me her. Let get a look at you. You must be that fella Garrett. Fancy yourself a famous thief, I hear, but that don't impress me. Anyway, famous or no, old Dahlia will take care of you. If you've got artwork to sell, this is the place. But no funny business, got it? Alright, well, I'm Garrett, so you don't have to worry about any jokes. Sure is a lot of stuff, Garrett. You probably think I should be grateful for the business, but it means a lot more work on my end. A lot more work. Okay. I, I guess you're pissed off that I gave you business then? So then, why are you running a business if you don't want business in your business? Totally makes sense. Alright, let's go buy those climbing gloves and see what the hell they do. Well, I always. He's oh, he's stuck on the fucking box. Damn Nothing. you, NPC. Still, good thing I checked. You never know. There Clear we go. Night. Now he cleared out of the way. But he's still stuck against the box. Now he should be able to make his way through. Someone's been up to mischief. What are you talking about? All right, you know what? Here, why don't you go investigate that? <laughs> What's that? Good. All right. Now I can go about my business. Hi there. Blah Welcome blah to blah. The undercurrent. Let me know if I can help you find anything. With these gloves, you can climb any surface made of stone, blocks, or bricks. Holy shit. That sounds amazing. Any surface made of stone, blocks, or bricks. Jump into walls to climb them. 
and don't break nothing. Uh, what the fuck? Why is he right there? That's no fair. He just spawned right next I'm to me. I'm losing patience, you noisy little taffer. All right, stone blocks or bricks. So we've got a little conversation going on here. Or maybe we have a staring contest going on. Long shift. <clears throat> Alright, so I should be able to climb this then, right? Oh my god. Ah, 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 this is amazing. Oh, now this totally changes everything. Now I can actually look around and see all sorts of new possibilities that I never even considered before. That sure is a fine looking plant. Sure would spruce up my place a bit. Too bad I can't bring it home. Wouldn't want it in my place. Only reason it's here is because they think it could be dangerous. Dangerous? You mean poisonous or all prickly or something? No. Don't you ever listen to the captain. The pagans were pretty upset when we got to it before them. They were gonna plant it someplace special or something. I figure it's got some pagan witchery attached to it. Oh, I see. Or I don't. It don't make sense. Why'd we take their plant away, even if it is a bit witchy? They got all <coughs> kinds of herby plants. And I don't see us holding them under lock and key. Because the Hammerites tipped off the captain. Said the pagans were gonna use it for no good or something. This here's some kind of extra rare type of greenery. Anyway, them hammers is so scared of it, they wanted to burn it up in one of their furnaces. Would have, too, except the captain wanted to get to the bottom of things, and so locked it up here instead. Don't that mean that both the pagans and the hammers will be angry with the cappy? Uh, at us? Maybe even, uh, try and break in and get it? Didn't think of it that way, but yeah, <laughs> I guess you're right. Watch your back, eh, Freddy? Yeah, you too. You too. All right, well, we've got a witchy herby plant. What's the note? The pagans wanted planted in their hideout. The hammers wanted burned. Oh, so I can I can earn favor for one faction and lose it with the other. Hmm. Uh Let's see. You know, I think I want to side with the Hammerites more than the Pagans, because the Pagans are kind of fucking nuts. The Hammerites are also pretty fucking nuts, but they're they're kind of nuts in more like a religious sort of strict order way, and the Pagans are more insane in a they're brain damaged sort of way. So, I think I'm going to side with the Hammerites. Plus, I suspect the only thing the Pagans actually have to offer me is dirt. And spells and monsters. Whereas the Hammerites actually have equipment. So, yeah, I'm going to side with the Hammerites. So, I'm going to burn that herby witchy plant. But, before I do any of that, I'm actually going to end this episode here. I just want to observe again that the menu system in this game is horrible. See, at the point when this game came out, apparently they only have the technology for the menu to display three separate save games. And all of this is just useless space. Yeah, back in that time it was actually impossible to use the whole screen. They hadn't even considered it. And they made the font size massive because everyone was watching it on 15 inch TVs from 80 feet away or something. Okay, save game. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.